Woohoo! This is the death of Wimbledon as far as I'm concerned. And the local businessman who made it happen walked on water. Maybe it was the right or wrong way for Milton Keynes to find its football, but find its football it has and we've kicked the ball today. Welcome back to Big Hub of the Nerd and today's episode of The Winkerman Way as we take on Aston Villa in the Championship and Sunderland are the team we drew in the EFL Cup fourth round. Sunderland away. They were sitting 18th in the Prem. We'll have a look at them in a minute. I said we'd be back for either Sunderland or um, the Villa or the Bolton game, depending on who's doing better. Villa are 16th, Bolton are 18th. So hopefully we've got a win here. And then Sunderland, like I say, sit in uh, 18th still in the Premier League. Eight games, no wins yet this season. They're not in good form. But, well, apparently they're in good form in the Cup, but not in the league. So this will be a good challenge for us here. A team that may be coming down next year. We're playing them in the Cup. Can we get a victory away from home? Our form has was patchy. No, no, actually it was fine. We had one one ball. So we left you off the Man City game. We got smashed by Bristol City. We're not, we're like, properly smashed. We were not in this game one bit. We then drew with Millwall. I thought, you know what, this is going bad. Um, but then we beat Ipswich 2-0. Goals from Sully Kai Kai and Lewis Morgan. Pat Crane got the goal against Millwall to save us from the bench. Um, and then we played against Fulham. We won 5-0. Wildig, or Wildig, came on uh, in the 60th minute, maybe? 50th minute, 60th minute, as a substitution for Armstrong. He wasn't playing well. And scored a hat-trick. 69, 74, 79. The man was on fire. We were 2-0 up, and then he comes on and absolutely takes the game by the scruff of the neck, makes it his own. So we end up winning 5-0, which looks a lot better. That means we are fourth in the championship after 12 games. Seven wins, two draws, three losses, 23 points. The big boys, Brentford still holding it at the moment, up there with 30. Crystal Palace on 26, and we're on 23. So it's all still going. No one's pulling away yet. In terms of goals, we've dropped off the pace. But average rating, Callum Gribben, look at him right up there first. And Sully Kai Kai in third. Or joint second. We're not doing badly there. So Gribben has to stay in that AMC role. But like I say, we're hoping for a win now. First game against Aston Villa. Let me just quickly look at the team. Bandinelli's on his way back from injury. Hamer's still out. He's going to be out for a while. Two to three months still. And we just brought in a new player as well. On a free, Hakim Abdullah. Uh, he was, yeah, a free we got offered him as trials. Two and a half stars at the moment. Potential to be three and a half. Not great. Got 12s across the board. Good determination. Good work rate. Probably just going to drop him to the uh, development list. And then the whatever it's called. What are they called? Under 23. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, but yeah, just another player we can bring in. Use up a little bit of wage budget. I think he's on like two and a half K. How are we doing on budgets and stuff? Have I, I don't know. We've got loads of money. Yeah, use up a bit of our budget. On a player that, you know, if we loan him out in a season, we might get 100, 200 grand for. Um, which I think is worth it. We've got the budget there for the wages. I know I don't want to work out, like, weekly wages times the 50 and how much we sell him for. I don't care about that. I'm thinking, we get some of these youngsters in, we can turn them around. That's where we start making little bits of money. Finances. we still got 1 million in the bank. Look at this drop, man. Income is slow compared to expenditure. Just get nowhere near what we need to. 1.3 million. Most of it on player wages and staff wages. Oh, God. This poor, poor team. Right. Let's, let's about that. Let's pretend that's not happening. Let's have a little look at the team. Right. So, I think we're good. I think we're good. Yep, 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 yep. yep. I kind of want to play Wildig. Not yet. Not yet. We'll leave Armstrong again. Uh, no, we're going to give... Uh, no, we're going to rest him. We're going to rest him. I, I lie. Let's get into the game then. Aston Villa. Here we come. A win here would be very nice. We want to keep that pressure up on those top boys. We want to get ourselves firmly in those top two. A lead from the front. That's what I want to go for. Aston Villa here playing a 4-4-2. Jack Grealish still there. This dude I've seen before. He's got a weird face, isn't he? Looks like he's had Botox or some sort of plastic surgery. Other than that, a team I don't really know. Oh, Kevin Danso. I know Danso. Not an, not an outstanding team. And that is reflected in their 16th position. But we're going to line up with Peacock Farrell in goal, Medford Smith, Wooten, Williams, and Williams as the back four. Gilby and Cullen in the middle with Morgan, Gribbin, Kai Kai, and Armstrong up top. Let's see how they get on. Let's see how Armstrong gets on. He may be being subbed off for Wildig. Let's go for an assertive carry on where you finished the last game. Boom, shakalaka, boom, boom. 
We are away. Let's see how this formation plays out away from home. Because that's where we're going to go next against Sunderland. I'd love to get through to the next round. Knocking out uh, City just to... to uh... Oh, what's in it? It's the bar. Jesus. Yeah, if we knock out City in the third round and then get just knocked out by Sunderland in the fourth, it's a bit of a, bit of a wet fart, isn't it? It's not really the fight we want. But here we are. We are attacking well here. Kai Kai finds Gilby. Go on, strike it. Just wide of the post. He loves a long-range effort. Armstrong now heads down. Grimmin. Oh, he's, he is coming alive in that role, I tell you. Kai Kai now. Gilby into Morgan. Ah, bad ball. Cullen gets it back, though. Nicely done. Armstrong. Can he put it back post? He can. Kai Kai. Oh, he doesn't miss those headers. Armstrong's getting the assist. That's good. Looks like he's going to have a good game. Three minutes in. This has been dominant. 65% possession we've had so far. Three shots. One on target. One goal. Look at that. Oh, lovely job. Corner here. Oh, oh my God. Nodded down. Put wide by Aston Villa there. That was scary. First highlight they've had. Attacking, really. And it was a set piece. So I'm happy with that. They've not hit the target yet. But we know how fragile we are defensively. We could do with getting another goal whilst we are in the driving seat. Wooten. Right, Medford Smith now into Gribbin. Gribbin, nice ball to Armstrong. Can he turn around a corner? He can. Morgan, back post, Kai Kai. Wow. That was quick. That was precise. That was sexy football. That was sexy football. So Wooten here comes from a free kick. Goes out to Medford Smith. Plays it first time into Gribbin. Who plays a lovely ball into Armstrong. Who turns it through that little gap. Morgan, first time. Kai Kai, first time. Oh... Boys, this is how I this is how I envisioned envisaged the 4-2-3-1 working. And that is half time. Two goals for Sully Kai Kai. They're not having a good oh Ryan Thorpe is not having a good not good game at right back there. We're dominating. This is looking good. Uh, appreciate the efforts. Don't get complacent. Let's go for that one. We don't want to let him off the hook. Keep him, keep him reeled in. Chester. Into Doyle Hayes. We're doing a good job of closing the right? This is where the defence works well. We let him come at us. Now stop him. Ah, oh, Medford Smith. You beauty. Gilby now. Into Morgan. Can we strike quickly with a counter? And he runs into Thorpe. Oh, Gribbin gets it back though. Gilby. Gribbin. Armstrong. Turn around the corner. Kaiko for his hat trick. Oh, he's gone down. Oh, this is one of those long highlights. I don't like these. Oh, what a tackle by Roshan Williams. Releases Armstrong. Oh, he's put it wide. Roshan William loving his assists. 64 minutes, the next highlight. The game has quietened down. And I'm not... I mean, I'm liking that. They're not managing to break us down. We're defending well. We're obviously not attacking that well. Um, oh, no. They've broken the line here. Inside. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. About two yards out. That was a let-off. Aston Villa still haven't hit the target with a shot. 20 minutes to go. Right, let's get a little bit of... Tactics on the... Let's get a little bit of tactics going. Who do we need to rest? Wooten's tired. Let's get Walsh on. Um, Colin could do with coming off. We'll put on Chucks. Switch those two round. Um, is that it for now? I mean, Armstrong's not been that good, has he? Let's put Will Dig on. Let's give the boy a chance. Three subs. In the 73rd minute. Oh, they've got a free kick. Oh, God, phew. I mean, Villa have had their chances. They definitely had their chances to score. Not taking them is why they're in a the position they're in. Uh, luckily, we have taken ours. But like these fresh legs now, look, Chuck's on. Effort Smith has been so good. Gribbin, Morgan, Will Dig. Let's see what you got. Are you going to give Armstrong a run for his money? Kai Kai! Oh! For your hat trick, son! For your hat trick! You've headed over. Peacock Farrell now. 83 minutes. Kai Kai's going to win it. No, he's not. He'll be. Into Williams. Finds Gribbin. Go on, Gribbin. What have you got? Well, short pass. Ah, chucks. Don't get that ball back. You gave it away. Hurahan. Grealish. Oh, he's played inside. That was a very nice goal. Oh, I thought that was offside. I thought that was offside. But that's a very nice goal for them to score in the 83rd minute. Ah, left. FM. Don't do this to me again. Not like last season. Oh, I'm sure he's offside. I am sure he's offside. That's bull crap. Right. I don't want to react too much to you know one goal going in. But I'm definitely doing that. I'm reacting. Close down. 
We're going to tight mark these dudes. Tight, tight mark them up. Confirm. Oh, I didn't. I wanted to put bloody direct passing on as well. Where's me? Uh, retain possession, sorry. Let's retain possession. There we go. 43 seconds, and it's our attack. That's got to be it. Blow the whistle, ref. Blow the whistle. Williams, keep it. Go, oh, Chucks. Williams again. Can you play a better ball this time, boys? Will dig. Oh, final whistle goes. 2 1. For the amount of shots we had and the way that the, the chances went, we should have been way. That should have been easy. Easy win for us. Be I've just seen down here. Look at this. Peacock Farrell. Mistake leading to goal. It's his fault, but we didn't lose, which is good. We got the win. We can give him an assertive. I don't know what happens in the second half. No, let's go. <laughs> oh, a hiccup came out. Let's go for a good win. We don't want to. We don't want to shower them, do we? So now we have three a ga a three game, a three a day break, and before we come back for that Sunderland EFL Cup fourth round game. So I will see you back for that game. Okay, right, here we are back for this big Sunderland game. Gonna go over fair, pretty much an unchanged team. We've got Bandanelli back. He's not fully fit. Do you know what? We're going to throw him in. We're going to throw him in. He's at 83% match fitness. We've got Morgan on the bench if needs be, but Bandanelli could bring that special spark that gets us the goal. We're going to keep the faith in Armstrong. Other than that, everyone is staying the same. Yeah. Yeah, we're good with that. We're good with that. Let's go. Straight in. No mucking about. <sighs> Sunderland in bad form. Come on, boys. Sunderland in bad form. We're in good form. Let's do this. So, look at this dude. That's a pose enough. So they're going for the 4-2-3-1, very much like ourselves. Um, De Silva at left back. I'm pretty sure we just played against the De Silva. Uh, Dong's pretty good in the middle. He's their key player. Other than that, oh, they've got Milner as an attacking midfield on the left. That's how bad it's gone for Sunderland. So we're going to go with Peacock, Farrell and goal. Medford Smith, Wooten, Williams, Williams at the back four. Gilby and Cullen in the middle. Bandanelli, Gribbin, Kaikai Kai and Armstrong up top. Hoping to get some sweet, sweet goals in. Early on. Show what we can do. Go in and impress me. Boom, boom, boom. Let's do this. Get the game underway. Oh, first strike's going to Sunderland, though. Cleared. Nicely done, Williams. He's come on a bit, I have to say. I was worried he was going to be crap and he was going to give away too many mistakes, but he seems to have sailed. He did get caught out of position there, though. Milner and Dong. Kazi. Oh, he got fouled on the floor. Not a good start. Not a good start at all. Peacock Farrell laid on the floor before the ball was even kicked. Look, watch him go. Watch him go down. Here ready and he's on for useless. Absolutely useless. Okay, now we really need to attack. Oh, and Armstrong's been injured. Wow, this day just gets better. Well, Will Dig, you wanted your moment. This is your moment. As Martin McCutcheon sang, this is your perfect moment. Oh, another strike here. Come on, get the ball back. Burke on the ball now for Sunderland. From back to Burke. Up to Milner. Oh, God. This is... They are a little bit dominating here. Brown. Don't let him get another goal. Oh, good. Long range effort comes to nothing. We're going to early doors put retain possession on. So we can touch the ball. Because we've had 37%. We want to keep it. They're really coming for us. Let's try and keep the ball. At least get our feet on it a bit. Get a couple of shots off. Here we go. Wooten. Out to Medford Smith. Can he find Bandanelli? Bandanelli, this is the spark I was talking about. Ball inside. Kai Kai. Oh, he's at the crossbar. Kai Kai, you peen ass. He's playing at a 6.4. That's no good. Oh, Bandanelli. That's what I'm talking about. Kai Kai's gone. Kai Kai's gone, Muldig. Ah. Didn't have the vision. He's got it now, though. What a ball. Bandanelli. One on one. Oh, he skied it. Filippo. Come on, mate. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, they've got another free kick. Williams clears, though. Problem is, they stay up when they get these free kicks. They don't piss off. Milner, tackle. What a tackle by Williams. Here we go. Now we're starting to find our feet. Kai Kai. If you can lay it inside. Oh, he's gone for the big ball. Bandanelli. Oh, my sweet baby Jesus. How has he missed that? All right, another. Can we win this one? Can we go for another attack? Maybe this time actually get it on target. Will do. Kai Kai. Out to Williams. Can he put a ball inside? He can. Bandanelli. I stop. We need to stop giving it to Bandanelli to shoot because he's crap. Cullen. Gribben. 
Oh, what a bad kill. Josh Wildig. That's the composure I'm talking about from that man. What a beast. I'm still, I'm still unsure. Like, I really wish I could, I could play two up front. I just can't do it. I can't change the formation. The players I've got fit the 4 2 3 1 far too well. But look at that. Cheeky little back kill. Cullen into Wildig. I mean, nicely, that's a future partnership. Cullen, uh, Gribben, sorry, and Wildig going forward for this team. Armstrong, although he has been scoring goals, if I have to drop him, although he's injured now, so I suppose that depends how bad the injury is. If he's out for a long time, it could be Wildig's chance. The game has opened up a bit now. Can we win it in midfield? We are losing it a bit in midfield. Gilby now. Lay it off. Oh, Bandinelli. Go on, give it inside to Wildig. Give it inside. Wildig. Oh, he's at the post. He's at the post. We are coming out now. Now we've found our form. Let's go. We are attacking. All of these highlights are going our way. Grimmin finds Bandinelli. Go on, beat him in. Ball inside. Josh Wildig gets another goal right on the cusp of half time. 2 1 up against Sunderland. Two shots on target, two goals. We have four clear cut. Four, four clear cut chances. That's what I'm trying to say. Badnelli here does a great job of flicking that ball in. And Wildig beats the defender, gets himself two goals. Again, the super sub. He is my Ole Gunnar Solskjaer at the moment. And that's half time. Back in front. What a man. Mr. Josh Wildig is assertive. Uh, don't let your performance level drop. Who's playing not great? Uh, I mean, no one's playing too bad. I don't want to shout anyone yet. We'll send them back out for the uh, the second half. Hoping that we can get another goal, maybe. Look at that. Wildig in a five-minute period. Hit the post. Oh, Gilby's injured. Would he hit the post and score two goals in five minutes? What a ban. Uh, Chucks is going to have to come on in that box-to-box -box role. Two injuries. That's not good, though. Armstrong we can probably do without. Gilby, I worry because we know we are short in central midfield. Oh, Wildig's injured. Hang on, come on, Sunderland. What the hell are you doing? I don't have another striker. Oh, I've got Pat Crane. Pat Crane's the last striker I've got. And he's not really a striker. Mm, let's put Crane. Let's put Crane in. Yeah. What's he shooting? He's finishing 13, 12. Oh, God. We'll go with that. I can't believe they've injured three of my players in one game. Sunderland, you dirty bastards. Oh, they've gone. Look at that. Four up top. Right. Tactics. Let's just drop to counter a little bit. We'll turn off retain possession. We'll try and catch him a little bit on the break here. Because we could get another goal. We might do all right here. Get away with another little sneaky goal. Good head there. Crane. Oh, not good ball, but Gribbin's got it. Bandinelli. Can he get forward now? Gribbin. Go on, Kai Kai. Kai Kai's behind the line. Oh, he, that's going with penalty. Surely, ref. Surely. You are kidding me, man. Good tackle there by Wharton. Medford Smith. Ah, it's not Armstrong up there, mate. That's the only problem to watch for. We can't unlock the defence that way. Oh, no. Oh, no. We've let him get back in it. My changes, clearly, were wrong. Standard. Go back to what we were on. Shit. I'm, I'm, I'm inclined to think they're, they're dirty bastards and have just been hacking all my players. But yeah, they've gone for bloody four up top and it's paid off there. Oh, they're pushing for it. They're really going for it with a four up top. And then he's picked up a knock now. Come on, man. They're going to get some fines for this. Surely we're going to make some complaints. Six minutes of added time here. I'd rather not go to uh, to extra time in this one. Ah, oh, Kai Kai. No, Kramer's behind. Yes. What a tackle. I bet you get sent off for that. Ah, oh, you twat. They hack three of, four of my players and then we get a red card. What a game this has turned out to be. That's not good. I bet they score this as a direct free kick now as well. Bastards. Have I made all three subs? I have. Because of the three injuries. Ah, crapola. Cullen, can you drop in as a centre-back? Because you're going to have to. Um, Gribbin dropping in here. Crane dropping in as a final playmaker on attack. Uh, we look to retain possession. Work the ball into the box. Look for the overlap. Oh, 
we don't want to play her up really, but we might have to just to give ourselves a bit more space. Let's go for that. No striker. Well, that's just six minutes gone. A red card, four injuries, three of them red. If Bandanelli takes another knock, he's going to have to come off. Now we've gone to bloody extra time. This isn't how it's supposed to go, boys. Let's go for an assertive. Um, we only need one more goal. Let's go and do it. Yeah, that's the one we want. Right, you, mate, Mr. George Williams. Let's go for an assertive. Not happy with performance. That's look. He's got fired up. Right. We've only got 10 players. One of them's a bit crocked. Old Bandanelli. We can do this, though. Keep the ball. Build up play. Crane. What a ball. Ah, Kai Kai didn't go for it, though. Oh, no. Don't let... Not... Oh, come on. Not like this. Who is this bald bastard? Scored all their bloody goals. Where is he? I'm going to kick the shit out of him. Uh, there he is. Tackling hard. That's all I want. Just kick him. Ah. <sighs> Undeserved. Undeserved from Sunderland here. We dominated most of the match. They've won it by literally kicking the crap out of my team. And I'm not best pleased. Going down to 10 men. I don't know how they managed to injure four of my players without picking up enough cards to get sent off. It's ridiculous. Right, Gribbin now. Come on. Ah, Gribbin. Oh, they've just brought a Mousset as well. Oh, piss off. Well, I'm not too... I'm annoyed about going out, but I'm not annoyed because of the way we've played. Because we've been literally handicapped here. Um... Yeah, some of them are a bunch of cheating assholes, uh, essentially. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to go for. Bunch of cheating assholes. Um, we're actually going to go attacking. Yep. We're going to go attacking. We're going to exploit the wings because that's all we've got. Um, we're not going to put work the ball into the box on because we don't have anyone in the box. There we go. See how that goes. See how like those. Chucks is injured. Are you kidding me? One, two, three, four, five. Four red injuries, one orange. I mean, I'm hoping the FA do something about this because it's grade A bullshit. Well, of course I've got this. How am I supposed to take him off? I can't. Oh, I get an extra sub because it's the second half, don't I? Um, who do I want to bring on? Can Kai Kai go up top? He can. And the they can go in here. Crane can drop in with Gribbin. Box to box on support. Gribbo. Switch. Yep, yep. Attack, 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 attack. Yeah. Okay, we're going for it. We're going to attack in. We've got bugger all players on. This has been an absolute horse crap game. And then they bring on bloody Mousset. Fresh freaking legs. Look at this guy. He's got magic head. He's got a magic head. He scored a hat trick. Because his head is so bald, it's magic. Fucking FM. Be an FM. Stupid pissing game. Look at him. Ah, The players are dead because you're a bunch of hacking bastards. Come on, get go back. Crane. Bananelli. Out of corner. Oh my god, it's not even the second. Can we just not call it here? Can we just say we don't want to play this in the next half because... My team can't handle it because I don't want them all to be in, you know, in hospital. Oh, pick up Farrell. You've got hands on mate. Jesus. No, oh, man. Are they still pushing with like four attacks? Oh, come on. Williams. Are you serious, mate? Are you serious? Ah, freaking pass back goal. Football manager, man. You When you dish out shit, boy, do you dish out shit. Look at this. Oh, and it's that. Fucking Mousset. 6-2. Remember when we started? We I were dominating this game early on. And then we've got a couple of injuries. I know we've lost it now because we weren't attacking. But we had no other choice. But they have absolutely dicked on us here. Kick them. Right? Just fucking let's take them back. Get stuck in. Fire up. Use offside trap. More direct passing. I can't believe they're, they're still playing four up top. They are really being assholes about this. We'll remember this. Some of them are going down as one of my rivals now. Because of the way they've attacked this game. 
And by attack, I mean kick the shit out of my team. Kick him. Um. Jesus, I told you to get stuck in. Give it back. Give him a freaking drum in. Break their legs. I'll give someone a 10 grand pay rise if they break one of these players' legs. Mousset. Break Mousset's legs. And I'll give it. Oh, Cullen. Game, can you just fucking get this over with, please? You're dragging this on for way too long. Oh, suddenly I'm seeing lifted. It's like watching a different team. Because they fucking kicked the shit out of my team. <sighs> mm, I've, they did play badly, though. I'm far from pleased. 4.8. George Williams, mate. You've, you've, uh, you've been outstanding. But that's ridiculous, right? Four red injuries. One orange injury. And then I got a red card. And they got jackal. Somebody had the referee in their pocket, I think. Wow. Chucks is out for two to three months. What? Oh, Armstrong's out for two to three months. Gilby's out to four to seven weeks. Wilding's out to four to seven weeks. And Bandelli's out for two to three weeks. What the fuck? We went through against Man City and it has been the worst thing we could have done. How are we... What? What? This is bullshit. Right, let me find a way. I'm going to find a way of absolutely sticking this to them. Okay, we ended up probably... We're probably going to get fined for that. Williams... Williams' um, red card was... Uh, what's it called? Controversial. So, I mean, that makes sense. He's a knob. I hate... I hate you, Paul Lambert. And I hate you, Sunderland. So, that cup's over. So we will be back for so FA Cup for FA Cup third rounds not until the first. We'll probably split this in half. Around here somewhere we'll come back for. Depending on who's around, who's in and around the uh the playoffs. We'll come back for one of those games. As we look to try and fire through this season fairly quickly to see if we've got a chance of getting in any cups or they're or the securing that automatic promotion to the Premier League, see if we can push that through this season. But now I think we're gonna suffer a little bit. Because half our squad are now suspended or injured. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Jesus Christ. I hate Paul Lambert. And on that note, we will leave the episode there. If you have enjoyed, smash the like button, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you back next time for some more Winkle Runway action. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.